Jacob the manager here. There's two things I hate. Lazy ass employees and weird fast food. So these are the top 10 weirdest fast food items. Back in 2014, Pizza Hut, a place that's fallen from grace like Britney Spears, in Australia decided to put our beloved Doritos on top of a pizza crust. Why the hell would you do that? Now I don't know much about Australia besides wallabies, kangaroo, and wolf spiders. But I know that this is a badass idea. We enjoy Doritos from the bag, not on our pizza. And we enjoy Doritos with our pizza, not on our pizza. This will be the second worst export next to Ben Simmons. Back in 2017, Tim Horton, a lovely Canadian coffee company, decided to do an homage to Buffalo, which is right there on the border of Canada. There's two things I know about Buffalo. It's cold as hell and they invented wings. Tim Hortons decided to do an homage to the Buffalo location by putting Buffalo seasoning on a coffee. This coffee had steamed milk, mocha, and buffalo sauce as a flavor. Why the hell would I want to taste buffalo sauce with my coffee? That's like coming to work in your basketball shorts. KFC Singapore, another restaurant who's fallen from grace, decided to come up with a crazy ass sandwich called mac and cheese bun chicken sandwich. Also, when I think about mac and cheese, I don't think about getting it in Singapore. You fried a macaroni and cheese and made it into a bun? Flag on the play. This is about as dumb as when my employee asked off for the weekend when you know they was blackout weekend. Nobody gets time off, but this needs to get a time off forever. The hell you talking about? I'm not eating macaroni and cheese in Singapore. KFC, I'm not done with you. Back in Hong Kong, they decided to come up with a popcorn breaded chicken. We like popcorn chicken, but you tried to actually make popcorn chicken. I don't want to taste popcorn on my chicken. If I wanted that, I'd go to the movie theater. And Hong Kong KFC, you choose one. Either you're gonna have popcorn for sale or you're gonna have chicken for sale, but you ain't gonna have damn popcorn on top of the chicken. And speaking of macaroni and cheese, McDonald's China came up with a bacon macaroni and cheese toasty. What the hell is going on? Who is black in China making macaroni and cheese? I'll wait, nobody. Do I want to go to China and eat macaroni and cheese? And you thought that you could put it in a panini? What the hell are you thinking? White people, macaroni and cheese is not a meal. What's next? Gravy milkshakes? In McDonald's Greece, they came up with the Greek Mac. A Big Mac inside a pita. I want my Big Mac with sesame seeds in a bun. I don't want a pita. Save this Greek Mac for a Greek freak. Oh, I forgot he's eating my American food. Get on that register right, get on that reg right now. You don't, you don't need to take a 15. You're standing there, that's already a 15. Back in Burger King, Japan, they came up with a black burger. No, it ain't dedicated to black people. It has black cheese on it. Black cheese, where they make that at? In my restaurant, we call that old and black sauce. The Coral Burger. The black sauce is made of black squid ink. No thank you, ma'am. All you foreign companies are remixing our food more than P. Diddy. Take that, take that. We didn't ask you to. Just make the menu like we have for the past 30 years. Meanwhile, back in 2016, Burger King of Israel decided to make a Hanukkah celebration burger by making a donut burger. What the hell? This is a beef patty with two donut halves and ketchup jam. I don't want a dessert and lunch at the same time. I don't want a de lunch. I must be jammed because jelly don't shake like that. Also, when it comes to a donut, donuts have jelly inside, not jam. Oh, jam. Carl's Jr., AKA Hardee's, decided to get you high with their latest burger. They came up with a cheeseburger delight burger. At first glance, I thought, okay, cool. This is a little jalapeno burger, got jalapenos on it, a couple of patties and some fries on the bottom. But after character review, it said that the sauce that they had, the Santa Fe sauce, is infused with CBD. Carl's Jr., are you trying to get me high? Who told you you can put CBD in the sauce? See, this is the Gateway Burger. I didn't ask you for that. What's next? Reefer? Oh, I get it. You want me to eat your burger, get high, and eat another burger, get high, and eat another burger, and get high, and eat another burger. Thereby driving your profit margin up. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
I'm not doing it. My kid doesn't need to be high. He's already 130 pounds and nine years old. And I don't care. CBD is weed's second cousin. Get that the hell off the menu. And fries don't belong on a burger. They belong on the side. Like a high paid attorney's chick. No chick. I won't put you on Instagram. That's where my family goes. I'm the burger. You're the fries. Pizza Hut Indonesia decided that since you like glizzies and you like pizza, let's marry them together. And they came up with the barbecue Frankfurter pizza. Oh, what the hell? I would never sell this in my restaurant. This shit looks like a five-year-old art class drawing. Yeah, baby. Yeah. It, it, oh, it looks so good. We put this shit on the refrigerator. Oh, my God. You're just, you're so talented. You're a modern-day Picasso. All right. Six months later, that's in the trash. Let's just keep it real, parents. Your five-year-old can't draw. Stop capping. It looks terrible. You know what I'm going to teach my five-year-old? I'm going to teach my five-year-old how to use mid-journey. Then I'll put that on the, on the refrigerator. Yeah, baby. This is how you type a prompt. All right, come up with your imagination. What you wanted to have. SpongeBob DJing. All right, on two turntables and a mic. SpongeBob is rapping while Patty is twerking. Okay, I'll put that on my refrigerator. But this pizza right here ain't no damn way.